Good morning guys. We are here just outside La Grande, Oregon, which is an area we really wanted to check out. We're excited to be here. We've actually booked two weeks at this RV resort, which is actually in Hot Lake, Oregon. There's some hot springs here, which is pretty cool. And the proximity to La Grande and all the amazing areas around here is awesome for us. Yeah, this area is really cool and there's tons of stuff to do. So we're not going to run out of things to do. Today we're going to take a drive though. We've heard this drive is magnificent, and it's from La Grande, Oregon, through the Snake River, and then back around to Baker City. So, as you can tell from my magnificent hair, I'm prepared for the magnificent views, and I hope you come along with us. Jesse has channeled his inner flock of seagulls. <laughs> We just drove through Elgin and turned onto Highway, I think it's 30. It's, uh, it says on the map it's the Scenic Byway, so we're just getting our first really pretty looks here, I think, and uh, it's really pretty. Yeah, we drove through a bunch of farmland, which was also pretty in its own right, but then we came around a few curves after going up in some elevation and have this beautiful view behind us. Really pretty, we're starting to see a lot more large pine trees and evergreens up here and uh, it looks like we're starting to get into some really spectacular stuff. We're in Enterprise now, which is along the path that we're taking. It's a small little town, but I think it's a county seat of Wallawa County. Yeah, it's even though it's a small town, it's probably the biggest town we've come across so far. And we've gone through several very tiny towns. Yeah. But it's really lovely here. They have a gorgeous courthouse, which you can see behind us. We'll, we'll get some better footage of that, too. And they also have several memorials here for servicemen from all the wars, uh, Korea, World War I, to Vietnam and more. So it's really nice to see. Uh, they had one plaque that was really touching that said um, it was dedicated to the men who lost their lives and never got to see their beautiful mountains again here, which I thought that was really nice. Yeah. I looked at a plaque on the, the courthouse behind us, and it said it was built in 1909. And it's like the real thick brick walls yeah it's that over building 100 years old yeah that building's going to be there for a very long time yeah we went inside briefly it's really cool um there's just something about experiencing old buildings or areas that have been well kept and well maintained to where you can still get a feel for what they must have been like when they were first built yeah we're gonna check out a little bit more around here we'll show you some of the grounds and then we're gonna hit the road We crossed over into the National Forest section here, and it's really pretty. You can see behind us a uh, stream, one of these, I don't think this is even named. It's just one of these seasonal streams that comes, I guess, from snow melt and rain up in the top of the mountains. 
we were seeing some snow-capped peaks through here already. There's haze in the distance, so it's hard to see everything. Yeah, unfortunately, when you're a little farther off and trying to look at the mountains from a distance, <laughs> a few people motorcycling around here too, which I don't blame them. It's an awesome road to motorcycle on. Uh, but yeah, the haze from a distance was kind of rough, but now that we're getting closer into the mountains, it's not so bad, and we're having some really beautiful views. And, you know, this is the reason Jess and I are slightly obsessed with Oregon. It just feels like so many places everywhere you look is natural beauty. And the awesome thing is it seems like Oregonians are very proud of this and very diligent about caring and protecting their lands, which is really great. It's nice to be out here and not see tons of trash. There's been a lot of national lands and public lands we've been on where people haven't been so respectful, but out here, you can tell everyone around here really loves these lands. They're beautiful and people are work working very hard to take care of them. Yeah, yeah, it's naturally beautiful and people keep it from getting trashed out, which is nice, at least in the areas we've been. I'm sure there's some areas where it's not, but this, this place here, I haven't seen any trash. Yeah. Uh, I've just seen a lot of beautiful nature. decided to take a dirt road off the main road and check out a fish weir. It's a fish ladder for salmon. They divert part of the river here and allow the fish to swim upstream up a fish ladder and lay their eggs when the salmon spawn. Then they truck the eggs out of here to a fish hatchery and raise them and then release them. It's pretty cool. the fish ladder up here and now we're at the main holding pond, spawning pond, where the fish lay their eggs and they collect them from. There's not a lot here right now. We're in the season for it, but I guess we're not in the right part of the season for it. There are some small fish in here, but it's not full of anything yet. We made it to the Snake River Overlook, the Hell's Canyon Overlook, in the Snake River Valley, and it's a pretty view. We have a little bit of haze in the distance, so you can make out, I don't know, three or four layers of peaks behind each other before it's shrouded in haze. So I've, I can't imagine how far you can see on a clear day up here, but it's, it's really a, a beautiful view from this, this vantage point. Yeah, there's some peaks in the distance, and Jesse and I wonder, like, is that in Idaho? I mean, it could be. It because, has to be. The Snake know, River is along the border. Yeah, the Snake River goes into Idaho, too. So we're seeing some peaks in the far distance from this vantage point, and we think there may be some that are in Idaho, but it is incredible. You know, the we're going to show you some video, but it just won't do it justice of how amazing this is and the depth of layers of the mountains and the mountains behind mountains and everything it's pretty amazing up here if you were an explorer coming this way it would seem endless yes you would look at it and you'd say there's no way we can get across this yes i often wonder the early settlers how they managed to get 
over the Rockies, and then over, like, like this isn't even considered one of the most massive mountain ranges, right? But it's so daunting just to look at this even today. Yeah. So it's pretty impressive to think about what the early settlers did and how the Native Americans navigated this landscape as well. There's wildflowers, natural wildflowers everywhere, is, everywhere you look. It smells so good up here. There's color everywhere you look because of that. Yeah. I thought we might have missed some of the wildflowers because you'd think they would be out in spring but i guess it's cooler here and this is the right time of year for them i guess spring comes a little later out here <laughs> i guess so so just an example of what we were talking about i'm not sure if you can tell on this video because there's quite a haze but let me see if i can point this oh no it's focusing on my finger back above my finger when i remove it there's mountain ranges back there and they're even higher than what we're seeing here. So it's pretty amazing, just the layers upon layers of mountains here. It's unfortunate that there's a haze. This mountain range has seven peaks, I think it is. They call the seven devils in this mountain range. And I'm sure that's part of it. Yeah, perhaps that's one of them. <laughs> Abby loves her water. She's got her boots on because it's pretty rocky around here. So we wanted to protect her paws. She's been good on this long drive, so we're letting her have a little fun and get into the river here. That good river water. Hey guys, well we are wrapping up our drive through the Hell's Canyon Scenic Byway. It's a little after 4 p.m. We started at 10 a.m. this morning, yeah. uh, but we are still, we still have to finish it up. We're not totally done yet, but this looks like a good spot for us to stop and wrap up a little bit. We found a really nice stream here um, coming off of the river at some point. We were able to get Abby down here in her boots so that she could dip her toes. She loves to get in the water, so she's been so good. We brought her down here so that she could play and splash around a little bit. Yeah, this place is crazy. There's so much to see <laughs> that we need to buy bigger memory cards. I know. Because <laughs> we've ran out of memory card space and a few of our cameras already. There's just so much up here to see. And there's some campgrounds inside here. The only problem with them is a lot of them are primitive and you don't have any services and there's no service inside the canyon for cell phones that unless you're on yeah. a ridge somewhere you can catch a little bit but besides that you're on your own yeah that's unfortunate for us we do need to be connected in order to keep working uh, unless we plan to have a few days where we weren't going to be available for our work and everything but you know just taking the drive through here has been totally worth it it's just 
scene upon scene upon scene. I mean, everywhere you look, it's just beautiful. And it's 100% free. Your tax dollars at work. Your tax dollars at work. Thank you to uh, our branch of government that provides all the services for the forest and the public lands and everything. Yeah, I'm glad this is here for everyone to enjoy, and I'm glad it's being preserved for everyone to enjoy. Yeah, so we hope that you enjoyed a look at the Hills Canyon Scenic Byway. We're going to finish driving it out. I mean, who knows? We might still come across something crazy, <laughs> so maybe there'll be more after this clip too. But uh, for now, I think we're towards the end, and uh, this is a great, great spot to end it all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please give a subscription and tell your friends about us. We'll keep making videos for you. Yeah, and feel free to leave a comment. We love to read them and reply. Or if you have any questions or suggestions, we'd like to hear those too. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.